I'm going to go ahead and follow these fly zipper instructions. I am about to work on Macaws 8149 and I want to make View B. View B has a waistband with carriers, a front fly zipper, a little coin pocket, and then in the back you have pockets and a split. I'm cutting this out in a size 8 and I'm going to use this camouflage fabric. The fabric is a little thick but I'm hoping that it will turn out okay for a skirt. It reminds me of fabric that you would use more for like maybe a backpack. So it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. There are 11 pieces and I'm going to just go ahead and start pressing these pieces. For me, I'm not going to be adding carriers to the skirt. So that will be bringing me down to actually 10 pattern pieces to use. So the first step is to sew the center front seams together and I'm sewing from this dot down to the hem of the skirt. I decided that I wanted to add some piping so I just placed some piping here and basted it down a little bit away from the edge and that way when I'm putting these pieces together I can go ahead and sew at the 5 eighths of an inch and that should be right up close to where the piping begins. So here's the piping and I just sewed really, really close to the piping and I did that all the way up the skirt. This is how the piping looks. And this is going on the front of the skirt right under the zipper area. After you sew the seam, then it's said to clip 3 8 of an inch over to this dot and that's to help prepare for the zipper installation. So where the clip was placed, which should be 3 8 of an inch over, you fold the right front of the skirt over all the way up to the top and it should be 3 8 of an inch over and then you press that down. There is a circle here at the bottom. The stop on the bottom of the zipper will line up with this circle right here. So you will take your zipper and place it face up under this pressed edge that is 3 8 of an inch folded over and then you will make sure this stop is down to where the circle is and then you will line the teeth up to the folded edge and then baste from this edge here down to the circle. So now I'm ready to attach the right fly and there is a dot at the bottom of the fly and this is the dot that's going to match up with the same dot that we matched up the zipper with. So you will make sure that this is right on top of that dot and then the edge of this should be even with this edge of the zipper and then you are to baste on the right side of the zipper. Baste this fly down to the zipper and make sure that you're only sewing on the one side of the skirt. The other side is folded out of the way. So I'm using a zipper foot just to help me sew these basting stitches in. And I also used a zipper foot earlier when I was doing the first basting stitches. Everything is flipped over and now you are going to put in your permanent stitches right close to this folded pressed edge. So next is attaching your fly facing. You can finish this curved edge. I will probably just surge around here and then you take this fly and you're going to attach it to the left front of your skirt. There should be a notch on the side and this notch will match up to the notch in the skirt somewhere. Here it is I think. Yes, so then you'll attach that there and you'll sew down to the dot. After you sew your fly facing on then you want to trim this little area down and then you will fold this over and under stitch. After you trim the seam from the fly facing then you want to go ahead and press that seam up this way and then you will do your under stitching along this side here and that will actually catch this seam that you pressed up. So I'm going to go ahead press and do my under stitching all the way down this fly facing. 
After doing the under stitching, you just fold your fly to the inside and press it down. And then you take your whole front piece and lay it on top of the zipper. And then you're going to base the edge here. And then I noticed for my piping that the raw edge is hanging out here with the white piping showing. That is my mistake. I did not realize that the front of the skirt would not cover this edge here. So maybe I should have pulled the piping up a little bit more, but I'm not gonna worry about it. It's just gonna be there hanging out. Okay, so here is the seam basted. I didn't baste all the way to the top. I just basted it right here in the middle. When you flip everything over, it should look something like this. And now we are on step number 13. So now what you do is you take this and flip it over to this side here, but leave this part over. And you even want to make sure this front is flipped out of the way. So I'm gonna fold the front over. So I have the two fronts together and that way you are only working on this side of everything. It says you can baste it so you can go ahead and baste this but then after you baste it you will stitch it from here down and then you will also stitch it close to the teeth so you will do two stitches. So the fly is pretty much done. Now I'm just gonna go through here and remove these basting stitches. There we go, that's a little bit easier to do. And then there's your zipper. So now I'm going to open the zipper. And when I was cutting out the pattern, I drew the stitching line here with some chalk. And now it's time to go ahead and stitch on the stitching line to finish off the fly. And what I wanna do is make sure that this right fly is out of the way. And then I will just go ahead and stitch this all the way around and you can do two stitches. So I decided to do my top stitching in white. I went over here and took out some of the basting stitches that were holding the zipper down that we put in initially. Now the last thing that you have to do to finish off the fly zipper is just to stitch this down, just to tack it down. And it shows you how in step number 15. So I'm just gonna do that with some hand stitches and then the fly zipper will be all done. I think what I'm gonna do is pull this piping out and cut it and that way it won't be showing in the front and then I can figure out a way to maybe hand stitch the black part closed so that I won't have this little white stuff poking out of the front. So yeah, I think that will look a lot better. This skirt is gonna be the third camouflaged item that I have in my wardrobe now. So I have pants and a jacket that I purchased from an army surplus store. And now I will have a skirt. I actually want to go back to the army surplus store and see if I can find a shirt. And then after that, I think I'll be done with all the camouflage that I want. The front of the skirt is almost done. I just need to base these pocket edges down and then I will go ahead and start working on the yoke and this will go on the back of the skirt. The back yoke is all done. The back pocket is on. I only put one back pocket. I did three rows of top stitching and now it's time to put the two skirt backs together. So I decided to add some rivets to the back pocket and also to the front change pocket. And now I am just working on this area here which is gonna be the split on the back of the skirt. So this is where I am so far. I decided to add an extra pocket to the back left and I put it a little low just because I thought it would be interesting. And I just finished putting in the top stitching on the side seam and now I just need to do the top stitching on this other side seam and then I'll do the waistband. Okay, so the waistband is on and now I just need to put in the buttonhole and the button and then next we'll be finishing off the hem 
this has the split in it and then I just need to go ahead and finish this off I have a finished skirt to share with you all. So this is the hem. And then for the button, I just decided to use like a little jean button that I had. So now I'm ready to put this on and show you what it looks like. Mm -hmm. 